Okay, good morning, good morning. George. Are you here? Ah, uh, yeah, good evening here. Uh, let me show you my my camera. Okay, good. Oh, sorry. <laughs> good after good evening here. Okay, George. How are you? I'm great. And this is my class for 10th grader. Uh -huh. So please, uh, maybe you can have some uh, information about yourself. So my student will let, uh, let my student know you a little bit about you and what you are doing so far in your life. Time is yours. Right now? <laughs> yes, of course. I, I need to do it right now. <laughs> yeah, I need to comb my hair first. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. This is the more evening time for you, yeah? A little bit. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Good evening, everyone. It's a pleasure to be part of this class with the teacher, Johnny. Thank you so much for the invitation. So right now, I know that you are in the morning, right? Yes, we are in the morning. So right now here in my country, do you know where is my country located? Come on, uh, let's let's uh, guess. Okay. Hello, Shane. Hello, Natalia. I can see to Jashton, yeah. to Jonathan, to Kaini, Vincent, <laughs> uh, Jocelyn, hello, Tiersa, good evening, London, Ryan, yeah, how are you? So, Louis Lee, Ruby, I, I don't, I don't see to running. Okay, who guess where is my country located? What continent is located in my country? Kathleen, good evening. Nicolas Lee. Yeah, uh, Kane and friends, please guess about the country of uh, Mr. George from. Look at the, the screen. <laughs> no, no. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I'm going to give you some clues about where my country is. Okay, my country's name is Colom. Colombia. Mm -hmm. Good. So right now it's the, my country's name. So do you know where my country is? America. South America. Yeah, South America. It's near to, give me one country that is near from, from my country. Brazil. Sorry? Brazil. Brazil, very, very good. Who answer me? Uh, Colleen. Her Colleen, yes, yeah, Colleen. you are very right. Yeah. So yes, my country is Colombia. It is located in the middle of America. It's maybe South America, Central America. Uh, we have some countries like Venezuela, Brazil, Peru, Ecuador, Panama, and Ecuador, Peru, Brazil, Bolivia. There are some countries around us. Colombia is a very beautiful country. Right now we are at night, we are here at 8.44 p.m. So it's, it's time to go to bed maybe. <laughs> but yeah. usually we spend time, we go to bed a little late. But I know that you are in the morning right now there. We have two, 12 hours of difference, right, teacher? Yes, 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 coach, yeah. Um, so, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I, I, I would like to know if you have some questions about my country or would you like to know anything about uh, our okay. people or our country. Okay, good. Okay, uh, my lovely student, uh, uh, I, I, tell, uh, I give you information about this part. This is my 10th grader, yeah? My 10th grader of uh, senior high school here. And they are in uh -huh. a science class, in science program. Oh, okay. In, in Indonesia, in my school, we have two programs, social and science, yeah? Uh -huh. And now they are in a science class. So it means that they really, uh, get involved with kind of like mathematics, biology, chemistry, uh, mm -hmm. English is general, they learn all English and then, okay. um, yeah, uh, math, uh, uh, any specific, yeah? Um, and then, mm -hmm. um, yeah, this is the student. Okay, uh, Kane, Valerie, maybe you wanna add something uh, to uh, teacher George and then any, Tirza, yeah? I give you time to have an interactive with her, him. Louis, go ahead. Okay. Ayo nak kita ngobrol ya nggak nggak malu ya kalian pintar kok ya kalian bagus ya go ahead. What language did you use in college? 
What's the weather like? Look like. What language? What, 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 what language did you use in Colombia? What languages? Yes. Uh, what language okay. do you speak? Do you use in your Colombia? Mm -hmm. Okay, we speak here in my country. Uh, the native tongue is Spanish. Mm. Como esta? So, Como esta? Yeah. yeah. Muy bien, gracias. Habla español, <laughs> huh? Habla español. Yeah, habla, habla muy bien español. You speak very well Spanish, man. <laughs> so I would like to say you to teach you a word in Spanish. Go. Would you like to learn them? Yeah. To no. learn it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'll say, yo amo a Colombia. I yo, love Colombia. Yeah. <laughs> Repeat. Yo. Yo. Amo. Amo a Colombia. Yo amo a Colombia, yeah? Colombia, yeah. I love to Colombia. Oh. Or to say gracias. Gracias means thank you. Gracias. gracias. Yeah, good. Yeah. Spanish is, uh, we speak Spanish because we was colonized by Spanish people from Spain. Um, Maybe uh, in 1942. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I, I'm not sure about the day, but maybe it's that the day, all right? Mm -hmm. No, 1942, no. 1492, 1492. Mm -hmm. 1492. I was colonized by Spanish people there. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason we speak Spanish here. But the second tongue, the second language here, it's uh, English, but mm -hmm. it's, no, it's not well, it's not very well learned by the students here because in primary school or secondary school because we don't have, um, our culture is a little different. We have, we are trying to change the mind of our students because we need to teach them the, the importance to learn another language like English. Uh, also another problem is that we we don't have the the opportunity to interact with foreign people. So, so, so far, so fast no, so, Mm, every day because not uh, no people around the world come here to visit to Colombia, most of people. But right now we are we are changing our face if, of Colombian people. As you know, before long time ago, we were we were well known by the narcotraffic uh, no narcotraffic or something like that. Mm -hmm. But we we are changing that. Um, that point of view that people around the world has about Colombian people. Mm -hmm. So right now, uh, most people uh, are visiting us to know our beautiful biodiversity here. We have very beautiful landscapes. Mm -hmm. uh, as you know, my, my, my country is very famous for the co coffee. Oh, yeah. We have here the most delicious coffee was, around uh, the world, yeah. Yeah, it's, I like it. Coffee. Yeah, uh, uh, we uh, have wait, here. Uh, I interrupt you, sir. The last time I uh, heard about like uh, Escobar, Escobar, Paul, Paul Escobar. Yeah, he was uh, he was died. He uh, died a long time ago. Uh, so he 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 is part of our history. I see. But it, it was a, a bad um, bad part of our history here in Colombia. That's the reason why people know us at, uh, that he was very difficult for foreigners to come here to visit us, right? But after some time that he died, um, most of the people, our country uh, are visited by them because our country is very secure for everyone. So, you know, we are having right now the, the peace, uh, the peace treatment. Mm -hmm. So the, the war is not, is not like a long time ago, right? Mm -hmm. So you can have, you can meet people from United States, from Europe, Europe, Asia, from different world, countries who mm -hmm. come to visit to our our landscapes, our our country. That's good. Nice. Good. So another question. Okay. Uh, yes, my lovely students. Uh, I give you time to ask some questions to uh, teach George about Colombia. Time is yours. Yeah. Give your uh, yeah, Valerie or Rainer or Tirza, Kane. Yeah, let us talk some, yeah, 
exchange information about our uh, country. Go ahead, Valerie. Luis, Jocelyn, Natalie. This is what I asked. Uh, this, is, this isn't uh, related to Colombia, but may I ask, uh, what do you teach? Oh, here, in my country. Yes. I um, teach, I teach, uh, I teach Spanish and English in my country. I teach in secondary school. Uh, I am the director of a primary school here, a private school, but I work in the secondary school uh, at the public school here in my in my city where I live. Uh, also at night, I work at night or sometimes at the afternoons. I work at the university teaching uh, phonetics and phonology uh, of the English language. Good. They are the subjects that I teach. Good, nice. All right, thank you, sir. Okay. Okay, any other question, Matt, please? That's a question to teacher, uh, George. Yeah. Destin, Shane, Elise, come on. Colleen, Mega, Stella. Um, okay, I, I, I'm asking you, yeah? Uh, just uh, uh, exchange information. Does the school uh, now open for face-to-face -face class or still online like us? You're okay, we we were teaching uh, online until December of the last year. No, until December, no. Until August of the last year, mm -hmm. uh, we were teaching online, right? It was really hard because we were having class. For example, this is my office, uh, oh. but also it's... Nice. <laughs> it's the place where my my little kids took classes, so it was really hard to 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 have them in the same office. They, they were learning, and I was teaching at the same time, so it was really difficult, right? But we started classes in face to face last October, last October of the last year, for some small groups, right? Mm -hmm. But in this year, we starting in February, mm -hmm. uh, working with the whole group in class. And you, are you working online classes or just face-to-face? -face? Okay, uh, this is the, yeah, in Indonesia, yeah, uh, uh, we live in the capital, we live in the metropolitan, yeah, in, in the city. So uh, for me and my students, uh, we have been uh, doing our uh, online class almost two and a half years, two and a half, just online. And you know, okay. uh, we ever, uh, the government ever tried to uh, give their uh, authorized to the, stu uh, the school uh, or institution to open or face-to-face class, but the Omicron, yeah, Omicron uh, is still uh, raising up, increased. So we stop, yeah, not, yeah. Only one month or two months, yeah, we uh, had our online face-to-face uh, -face class. But because of the Corona or Omicron, we stop and the students stay at home and uh, all the teachers are so just do the online class like this. So, you know, sometimes we get, yeah, we need to create something to make the student uh, uh, interactive or attractive with our lessons. Yeah, it's really hard. Yeah. yeah we, we, had, we had here the second stage of the uh, coronavirus, it means yeah. the Omicron. Yeah. Uh, in, on vacations oh. in December, we have here in uh, vacations in December and part of January. Uh -huh. So that that was the time where most of the people here, because it was very contagious, contagious, or contagious. Yeah. yeah uh, uh, afraid or something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And most of the people um, got the the Omicron so fast because mm -hmm. I I had I had in January Omicron. Most of my family had Omicron, but it was really short uh, and it was different from the coronavirus. But yeah. in Colombia, most of the people are already back, uh, got the, vac the vaccine. Mm -hmm. So vaccine. They, they reduced the number of people who died for that reason. Uh, it was really hard for all of the Colombian people, that situation, maybe for all of our countries, all of the countries also. Mm -hmm. But the idea, thanks to God, we are alive. Mm -hmm. And we have another opportunity to live because some of my friends and of my members of my family also died um, so due sorry. to the coronavirus. So sorry to hear. Yeah. 
Um, yeah. Good. Uh, yeah. This is uh, we we yeah uh, we we share the story yeah uh, uh, based on our uh, uh condition right now. Uh, sir, uh, teacher George. Um, yeah, we know that when we teach uh, uh, students through online, um, do you have any tips or any motivate for uh, students because now they are teenager class. It means that yeah, they need something. Oh, how to uh, make them feel uh, enjoy? Yeah to learn or to study with uh, online class like this. Do you have any tips or motivate for, because you also have the same problem like us. I need- Okay. Yeah. So when we started facing this, this, uh, this different way to teach online, because we were teaching all the time face-to-face, -face, yeah. we, we discovered some strategies or tools that we can use in order to, to uh, develop the class in another different way, right? Mm -hmm. So we can use different tools, different materials, right? trying to motivate to our students to learn English. I don't know. I, I don't know what is the um the what what do, what do I mean with that? Uh, uh, the interest. I suppose that all of your students are interested in learning English, right? Yes. They, they are they motivated. Know. They are so <laughs> motivated. <laughs> So they are focused. Are, are you focused on? You mean that you, are you focused on? You are focused on. In science, uh, they are they, they, their subject. They are uh, a specific style in this uh, pro program, uh, uh, like uh, biology, uh, chemistry, uh, or, or, or math. Yeah, and but this class is English, right? No, it's no science. Uh, yeah, but no, not science. Now I teach them English. English is general uh, uh, subject for okay. all the class, all the students. Yeah, okay. English. Yeah. The, the the most important motivation is that. Our students want to learn uh, another language, uh, and they can understand how important it is for our for our for us to yeah. to try to communicate with foreign people, right? Because we can reach the world. Uh, you know, the English is the the language of business, the language uh, that we can communicate with all of the people around the world. Because English is the second language of most of the countries, so. I think that English is necessary for for us in order to get um, a better opportunity for lives. Yeah, good. So, try to uh, learn English. You can do it. You can do uh, do it and give the best of yourself. Maybe at the beginning, the problem that I have here with my students is that they don't see the uh, necessary to learn another language because uh, the mind that they have is. Is very limited by the opportunities that they have here in my country, that they have here in our country, right? So we, as a teacher, we are trying to change them, the, their mind, the point of view about the English language in their learning process that they have here, because in that way they can they can communicate with others. For example, I work in a rural school here. Mm -hmm. uh, my city where I live is two hours or three hours far from Bogota, from the capital. So they say, hey, I don't, I don't like to learn English because never I'm going to try to communicate with the other foreign people, right? Mm -hmm. So, but when we had the opportunity to have meeting online, a session online, they, they could have, they had the opportunity to interact with teachers around the world, with the students around the world. So in that way, they can see my students could see that it's not necessary to go abroad. Mm -hmm. We can have. Uh, another chances, another opportunities to in, interact with English. So it they saw that it's really necessary to learn English for for them, not for me, for them. <laughs> okay, um, that's great. Yeah, uh, that's any uh, 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 interactive, yeah, uh, communicate, uh, communicate, uh, communicate with you, and you tell us about uh, something related to the motivated for students yeah i think uh yeah let's give them to uh know uh they are not only alone here to uh, have this uh pandemic situation but all over the world we have the same um situation okay um are there any questions uh, maybe from others um, i hello? want to ask go mm. hello so mm. um so you might have heard or read something in Portuguese, right, or not? Okay. Sir, still, 
Yeah. It's still mute. Yeah. Yeah. yeah mute. Okay, go. Thank in you in Portuguese. Me. Yes, in Portuguese. It just obrigado. Obrigado. So, <laughs> no more. <laughs> um, as a Spanish teacher, do you think that um Spanish and Portuguese have so many similarities or what? What do you think? Uh yeah. We can if I if I speak with a person from Brazil or that speak who speaks Portuguese maybe from Portugal, uh, like Spanish we can understand him maybe, right? But also yeah, the language is very similar, but they all like the other languages they have words that that are different. So, but we can understand each other. But I don't know how to speak Portuguese. <laughs> That's obrigado. Yes. No worries that we uh, we can then we can invite other teachers around the world to join us for having some friends in uh, yeah. Portuguese. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> okay. Any other questions? So another question. Uh, uh, this might be a little bit weird, but may I ask, uh, is there how do you say your name? Uh, I believe there isn't there another way, isn't there? A way to say your name in, in Spanish. Uh, okay. My my name in Spanish is Jorge. So that's Jorge. 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 In English is George. George Jorge. Jorge mm -hmm. Reyes. Jorge Reyes. Reyes is my last name. Mm -hmm. Reyes. Reyes. Reyes is my last name. So so for some people. Who, who speak English for native speakers, the they letter R, R for, uh, for them, it's very difficult to pronounce it because in Spanish, we pronounce like if we were Russian maybe. R, 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 R. So in English, the letter R sounds like R, R. Oh, so okay. for, for those people, it's, it's really difficult to pronounce the letter like R, R, R. Ray, um, Good. Okay. okay, I have a question. Can I ask a question? Yeah, yes, you may. You may ask my students about uh, anything. Yeah, let them speak. Okay, let me try to choose one. Mm -hmm. Jocelyn. Hello, Jocelyn. Hello, Jocelyn. Hello. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. Okay, Jocelyn, what if you have the the opportunity to to start a career? What program do you do you choose maybe for the future of your life? Well, let me let me let me say you in a better way the question. Give me one second. What what is the the, the career that you want to study when you finish your, your, your studies at the school? I don't know, sir. You don't know? Yeah, I don't know. Um, maybe I'll ask, Jocelyn, in your mind, what what you are going to do after, you're go uh, after you finish your uh, 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 school, you graduate from senior high school, what, or maybe in, in the future? What is your plan in your mind? Are you going to be a businesswoman or doctor or scientist? Maybe a teacher. Yeah. I'm not planning it yet. No, I haven't planned it. I haven't planned it yet. You're still, uh, no, there is, an, uh, she's still having uh, no option yet. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Horse Thank you, Jocelyn. Of course, maybe you can ask one more student or maybe, yeah. Okay. Colin. Hello, Colin. Hello, sir. How are you, man? How, how, have you heard anything about our my country? Your country called Colombia? Yeah. Um, I haven't really heard anything about it. I know it's in South America, but I don't know anything about it. Okay, but have you heard Shakira? I don't know what that is. Do you know Shakira? Oh, the artist? 
Shakira. Yeah, Shakira. Oh, oh. yeah, I know. Oh. Uh, she's from Colombia. Oh, I see. Shakira. <laughs> do you know? Do you know who is uh, James Rodriguez? James Rodriguez. I don't know. No. The president. No. Is is a famous soccer player, so a football player from our country. Oh. Juan is. Juan is. No. Oh. No, no, no. I don't know either. Okay. <laughs> uh, do, you, do you see the Oscars? Oscar the is Oscar the, prizes? Yeah, Oscar. Yeah, yeah Oscar. Yeah, prize, yeah, prizes, yeah, for the celebrity. Or, 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 yeah. Uh, so do you, do, you, do you see there yesterday, maybe? Mm -hmm. the, uh, the, the Oscar where, where was recognized the, the movie uh, Encanto? Encanto. Oh, Encanto, yeah. Yeah. That movie was um, created, taking into account some landscape of our country. Mm. That country talks about Colombia, about my country. Mm, good, nice. That's cool. Yeah. That's great, awesome. Mm. So when you have the opportunity, you're welcome to my country. It's, it's very beautiful. We have too many places to visit, many things to do here. The people are friendly, so there are also too many things to eat and to enjoy. We have very, very, oh, for us, for us, it's delicious. I don't know for you, because some people see our dishes here and say, hey, what's that? But it's delicious. The food here is very, very delicious. Are they like Mexican dishes? I'm sorry? Excuse food me? from Mexico? Uh, no, we, our Columbia. food is not spicy. So oh. it's different from Mexico. Our our food is better than Mexico food. <laughs> oh, promote! Yeah, you promote uh, your food. It's really delicious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I I don't know how to share some screen here, but if okay. you have a uh, internet connection there, you can look for tamal, ajiaco, bandeja paisa. Mm. So there are some typical dishes from our country. Also, uh, maybe in another opportunity, I I can share or. Or maybe I can invite to some of my students to your group in order to share our countries, to show you some pictures, some videos about our music, about our dishes, about the places that you can visit when you come here. So uh, maybe we can share again later with my students on my university. That's good. Yeah, that's, that's a good plan for us to have our uh, uh, Meeting for the next time, maybe yeah. Uh, for uh, yeah. Oh, okay. So question. Um, okay. Colin, do you want to ask? Colin, do you want to ask or maybe other? Uh, I think I'm good. No. No. We we have no. to use here all the time the fans because the oh. weather here is very yeah. very hot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the same like Indonesia, yeah. hot weather, yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. Okay, um, thank you so much, um, Colleen. Thank you for teacher George uh, for coming to this class. Um, after this, mm -hmm. the student will leave, but uh, teacher George, you may stay here with me. I will talk about our planning for the next uh, Tuesday, yeah? Yeah? Okay. Yeah, uh, for maybe five minutes. Okay, uh, my lovely student, uh, thank you so much for having this uh, time with teacher George from Colombia. This is time for you to practice. Maybe you can... Uh, ask more about uh, Colombia, but later on, we will have um, speci uh, a special session with him. Yeah, so now the students, um, time is up and uh, maybe you can uh, stay uh, to continue your study or to do your subject uh, topics I have sent to you into the classroom, yeah? For my lovely student for 10 science ones. Thank you so much for joining. And um, now, uh, I need one of you to lead the closing prayer and then you may leave and then Sister George will stay here with me, yeah? This is yours, yeah? Okay. Colin, okay. Colin, I need you to lead the prayer. Yeah, Indonesia discipline. Colin. Uh, closing okay. prayer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, friends, let's pray. God, thank you for today. Today we have learned a lot from our guests uh, from Colombia. Hopefully the rest of our days go well, and hopefully what we learned today will be useful next time. Amen. Thanks, Scott.
thank you so much. Okay, thank you, my lovely student. You may leave and say goodbye to teacher George, and uh, you may stay uh, rest. Good. Next Bye. Bye bye. Yeah, teacher, just wait for a while, yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye bye. Thanks for coming. Thanks for the invitation. Thank you, sir. Bye bye. Bye bye. God bless you. Oh, wait, we still are ahead.